Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, we've had designers make YouTube videos. This one uh, designer finalist uh, was from LA. She went to the garment district in LA and kind of showed um, clips of all the people that she's worked with in her history as a designer, kind of um, showcasing the ins and outs of designing. Um, and so social media is a big part of both the designers getting the vote out and then us also showing the behind the scenes production, which is possible because we're made in New York. And we weren't, it'd be very hard to kind of like show, and I don't know that we want to, <laughs> show how things are done um, overseas. Was, uh, was Made in New York an obvious choice for you? Or did you ever think about producing overseas? We tested overseas. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a nightmare. <laughs> uh, there were a lot of delays, uh, terms getting changed halfway through the process, and then kind of being stuck because you can't really fly over to where, our, in, this, in our case, we were working with factory in Mexico, and it, um, it was very difficult because they had all our product and then they're like, oh, well now it's gonna cost this much. And then there was a problem with customs and our stuff was delayed for a month and a half. And, um, which is, it's, it's difficult for any company having your product delayed, but with um, the whole social media aspect of us like showing the winning design and having the production and then not having the product on time was a huge issue. Um, and so we scrapped that and stuck with New York production. Have you ever had any conflicts over taking in products that would appeal to the Brooklyn market but aren't Brooklyn made? Um, I've had the opposite problem where um, I've had products that were made in Brooklyn and they've then had to move production outside of, usually outside of the city altogether. Um, and so I've just, I just continue carrying that product, um, which is heartbreaking because of course I want to support um, if people have become my friends. Um, but I also understand that this is the challenge of being of manufacturing anything in New York is it's expensive. Um, so it's an unfortunate time when that happens. Uh, but it also then creates the opportunity for someone else to take that space on the shelf or on the rack. So it's not just it's a bittersweet story. Um, and it's you know it's one that I am doing whatever I can to help ensure that people can stay in Brooklyn if it's all, at all possible um, for them. And I, with social media, for example, one of the things that we often do when we're, especially when we're introducing a new product is the hashtag made in Brooklyn. And um, what that has done um, in terms of just both me, us being able to find new products and people finding us because it is something that people do search for. Uh, now, um, the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce is actually going to be creating a Made in Brooklyn um, brand or a seal, kind of like the, the Made in New York seal. So you see that kind of, um, you see that developing and you know, I don't know that they would have necessarily done that had they not, they not seen all of the hashtags for Made in Brooklyn. <laughs> um, but social media, it's, it's also about just creating a personality. Again, like I said earlier, to me, it's about the story that we can tell to our customers and our potential customers. and. You know, whether it's a picture of, it's not always just a picture of our product that we're showing up on Facebook or on Twitter, um, Instagram, it's, it's also just about our lives and, you know, tweeting about the show that we're going to or pictures of the, you know, I was at Brooklyn Bryan's Pickle Factory and I shot a picture of pickles that were in the process of being produced and got a ton of likes on that. Again, it's that behind the scenes thing that people like, but it's also just like, you know that I'm actually living what I'm talking about. I'm actually out there visiting with people who are making these products and living my life in Brooklyn. So um, I think it's that too. It's about getting to feeling like you get to know the people behind what it is that you're supporting, whether it's me as my personality of the store and the people who work for me or the personalities of the vendors. Um, again, it's just getting to have a full picture. You know, we don't really know what the person who so that Adidas t-shirt is doing, but you know, <laughs> it's a story. <laughs>